Hello, welcome back to Reality Roulette. Um, welcome to Friday. We got there in the end. Friday at last, at last. Right, I'm um, going to do a little strategy. I don't know why I've got starting strategies. Um, I seen this on the Roulette Master channel the other day. Uh, and played it last night. We took us winnings. We took, I think we took 68 quid profit. Um, we played this last night. We got back, we made, um, we started with a tenner actually. And we made it up to 24 quid. It did go right down. It, it did, the balance did go down. Um, but it seemed to work well. I then played it um, on a simulator. And I compared it with using the roulette profit and stop tool. Slight edge with the tool, I must say. We had a slight edge with the tool, choosing what we were choosing. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to play the strategy just as the roulette master guy did. Um, Hot and cold numbers. So, <clears throat> two, a bit of a danger, I suppose. But, you know, when you're playing a static strategy, any number's dangerous, really, I guess, isn't it? So, let's have a go. So, 24.20 we started with. We'll see if we can make it to 25 quid. <clears throat> 19. So, it's 10p profit. Obviously, you can see what we're going for. Repeat, and we're just staying there, basically. We're just staying there. And what I did last night, using the roulette profit and stop roulette tool, um, where it was highlighting the dozens and the columns, obviously, we were playing those bets. Um, my screen's moved here, hasn't it? I don't know how to move that. That's full. Why is that moved out there, then? Um, let's have a look. Zoom. No, it's no better, is it? Let me set that up better for you later, anyway. The twin, oh, I've said that too. We said we're dangerous, didn't we? So here we go. Here's what we do next. Da -da. Martingale. Okay. <clears throat> oh, no, we won on the two, didn't we? What are we thinking about there? We won on the two. So it's same again, dickhead. Same again. I'm thinking I'm thinking of the strategy. I've just been playing from CG Dealer School. CG Dealer School which I am going to play when we get a really big um, balance, probably a balance of about 300 quid. We will play that strategy. It's, the, I think it's the latest one they put on yesterday. Uh, and I enjoyed it, actually. It was 25 quid on the corners and five pound on the corners on, on this row. Uh, that's, that's a good hit there. So I'll repeat again. Um, and it's basically a two, well, you can play it as a one player strategy, but it was a two player strategy. Martingale strategy, which is iffy. Um, they're the 25s in one row there, and fivers down here on the corners. I staggered them, and I found it were better because if you get in a, a column or a row that's hitting, you're at least in a, with a chance of hitting one of the 25 quids. But, um, we'll try it later anyway. See if we can get this to 25 quid herself. 29. <clears throat> so we're 10 p away. This is where it can go wrong. I might start making a, a habit of finishing when I'm 10 pence away, actually. From the target. Obviously, they were playing with tennis, so what did we make? We just made 60, 70 quid there, don't we? 60 quid. <clears throat> 20, 60, yeah. That'd be all right if this hits. Fantastic. In and out. Play that with tennis. <clears throat> but like I say, we're 10 pence away, and this is where it can all go drastically wrong. Okay, 19 again. There we go. There's his target. Nice little strategy, that. Um, easy profit. Only little bits of profit, but they all add up. So that's it. It's time to leave on that one. We'll call it, what should we call it? I don't know, crucifixy thing. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, easy strategy. No thinking. In and out.